Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create the mass model of Jonka Tower in Seoul, South Korea. So this is Korean week and all the week I will create some Korean buildings, some famous Korean buildings. So let's get started. And as always I will start from the scratch, so it means I will start a new project. Let's create a new project, we will use a standard architecture template, so nothing special and I will create the massing model for this project. Uh, here I already have the, some pictures, you can see it, uh, how the buildings looks like. Actually here we have like few forms, here the curve one, here the square one, uh, two do, of the one we have the hexagon and one of them we have like a donut. So we just will compound everything and we will create the body of the, this building, so that's it. But anyway, this is interesting project because we have a lot of the things, a lot of the interesting things. I know it will do replica if you want to make, create the replica of this building, go on. I will show you just the way. So let's go back to the project and now we will create the new project. Let's create the new one. I mean, we will create the conceptual mess. So let's create the conceptual mess. This conceptual mess we will load inside to the, our project and I will go to the level one. So here is my level one. Uh, as you know, I don't have any uh, drawings, blueprints from this building and I will do just approximate size. Let's say this is 50 meter to the one side going and 50 to the other side. So let's mirror it, just double MM and we will mirror it. And after that, I will use here the start and arc so start and and let's create the arc again approximately this uh, this building not asking us to create a uh, really similar one because we are not getting money for that we just are trying to create the similar things let's mirror it again so now we have the basic shape okay and now we need other one shape this is calling uh, a polygon line but we need the 10 sizes let's make the 10 sides and from this uh, intersection point i will create something like that so let's create it maybe a bit bigger and i will just copy it just double click copy and I'll copy it here. So as you know, this is just a lines and now we should create the form. But before we will create the form, we should get a few more lines. So here is one more lines. And after that, now we should create the forms. Let's go back to the 3D view. And now I will separate my 3D view to the right side and my drawing part will be on the left side. And you will see what's going on on my screen. So let's uh, extrude first this part, let's extrude it, uh, just approximately, let's make it uh, maybe um, 60 meters. I think it's not done, done enough, but anyway, we're just doing this is approximately as I said. As you know, I cannot see now what's going on under the my this form. So how you can change it? Just let's uh, switch our uh, view mode to the wireframe and you will see everything as it is. So let's select uh, now this form, these lines, actually I need that line, that line and that two lines. Let's extrude it here more interesting because we will extrude it a bit higher than we have uh, and yeah, we, we approximately like that. And the basic one we should extrude it too, like this. Okay, as you can see, we get the form. So now we will work with the these cycles. Let's work with the, these two hexagons, sorry, not cycles. Let's, uh, uh, oh, sorry, one by one. Let's create form of that to that one. And we will make 140,000 oh, millimeters. And the same thing here, extruded, solid form. 140,000. Okay, done. As you can see, this basic basic shape we already done, as you can see, but we don't have the donut on the top. How we can do that? Let's go back to the, our plan and now we will create it. As always, this is not so hard. We will create just a bit bigger with the form. I will mirror it. Now we have the middle one. And now I want to get uh, one more shape. I want to use um, 
offset and let's say I want 20 meters extend yeah 20 meters this will be pretty enough no maybe 15 meters or 10 let's try first 15 meters 15 meters yeah it should be work let's try it yeah and let's select this shape first and let's extrude it so here we are and I will change it the height to 140,000 millimeters and the basic one I will do just approximately just approximately maybe like that but not less than 20 meters okay so and now this internal donut where is our internal donut is here we will create the form by voids void form why i want to create the void form of that where is the, my form oh no this is one sorry uh void form uh, because i want to make the gap inside of this shape so the top set it will be one for 140,000. nice and the basic one oh no i know wanna, as you can see now uh revit automatically uh, changing um, uh, making extrusion not from uh, our shape and we have here yeah, now this shape so now we can work only in 3d so let's work only in 3d okay here we are and let's cut it where is our cut cut from this one that one done here is our form as you can see so we get the basic form and now we can work with them some solid part before we will do that let's join all these elements between each other and now this is union element as you can see if you are afraid your Revit will crash or no you should save it so I'm afraid and I will save this family I will call it just a tower okay done now I can be uh, can be not worried about uh, it will crash or no and now I can work with the facade of this building so now we should uh, create uh, our facade actually not facade we should work now with this the type of the column so how can do that actually pretty easy just we should select this uh, not so pretty easy this uh, you should work with this each surface one by one yeah it's spending the time but once you will do that next time you not will change anything okay just select all the faces one by one as i did as you can see and change now uh, divide it by surface and change the pattern to the uh, triangle flat so now nothing changed actually it's so messy so what we're gonna do we will say we need fixed numbers uh let's say 12 fixed numbers 12 oh no here let's make it one let's see what's going on e yep we need only two here okay and the fixed number we will change to the fixed distance i will tell you later on why and let's make it eight meters only so we get our our dividing surface so now we should uh, work with that side because as you can see now it's so uh, not aligned because they have as you can see different position let's change first the um, justification from the center to the beginning and let's play, uh, play around with the offset let's start from the 3000 millimeters so pretty close 4000 millimeters and yeah 3800 millimeters for sure and maybe 3600 so done as you can see we pretty close 3700 and 3650 okay Revit tell me is it 80 yeah and now as you can see this is aligned the same thing we should do on the opposite side just let's select all these surfaces one by one just like that one by one we did it uh, now we will divide it and after that we will change to the triangle flat 
After that, we will change fixed uh, number to the distance. We will say this is eight meters only, and fixed numbers for the uh, grid we will change only for two. Done. We get it. And now we should change the position offset for that side. I already copied because I I already know the number. Let's copy, paste offset here. Oh, it's not working. Let's try it again, because this is at center. Let's change to the beginning and everything working. And let's change justification to the beginning and now everything working. Done. This is halfway. But actually, the problem is uh, uh, our pattern, it's not, uh, it's not now like we want. We should go to the file, we should create the new family and we will use the family metric generic pattern based if you are using the metric, if you are using the imperial, imperial generic model pattern based. Okay, let's choose that one. Let's, sell, let's select our ground and let's change uh, from the rectangular to the triangle flat. Okay, here we are. Let's put here the sum uh, dot. Let's select this dot. Now I will uncheck the show normal and I will check the show visible and I want to show reference planes always done. So we will get something like that. Now let's select, uh, let's set our working plane and let's create the cycle like this. I will select the cycle, I will create dimension, I will select dimension. After that, I will create some parameter for this dimension and I will call it radius. The radius, okay, fine. Let's leave it on the 300. No, better if it will be 200. 200 millimeters, I will select this uh, profile and I will select this line and I will create the form. We did it. So here is our form. It's not finished actually because we created the frame, but also we need the glass. Let's change the mode to the wireframe and let's select again. This is a reference line. Let's create the form and we will create it flat one. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, shaded mode. Uh, I will select this one and I will, I mean the panel, I will go to the material and I will apply, apply the glass material. Where is the glass? Somewhere here. Okay, let's create it. We'll create the new material. Uh, let's say this is glass and we will uh okay facade glass okay nice and we will uh found the some glass from after this library just give me a second here is the glass and clear glass i will use for the after this library uh, let's make some transparent for the shading and let's say okay here we are here is our glass let's load inside of the project we uh, inside of the family because uh, we are working now with the family, with our family. Let's go back to the 3D. Where is our 3D? Here. And again, you should select everything. But it's not a big problem, I think. Let's select one by one all the our surfaces. Be careful. Don't be rushed because uh, now I did mistake and I should select this everything again. So don't, you don't rush. I want to select this one. And this one. Oh my God, again. <laughs> okay, this is will be fast, I think. And last one. It's really hard. Uh, last one. Give me a second. Okay, done. As you can see, everything. And let's change our triangle to the family tool. Just give a second to the rabbit. And as you can see, we get wireframe with the our glass. So this is what we want. Let's say let's do the same thing here. Yeah, this is a bit spending time, but once you will do do that, you no need change already uh, positions. You no need change anything. So uh, to and last one. It's a bit hard. Okay, 
And let's change again triangle pattern to the this one. Okay, done. As you can see, we created two of them. This is nice way because now we should finish uh, the only top side and we will continue in the project. If you will have a look uh, how it looks like the top side, as you can see, this is a bit different. As you can see, here is the frame. It's a bit really different. So um, we will use the same way, but we should change the family. Uh, here we already have the family. Let's check it out. Here is the family. We need just change the uh, view setting to the wireframe mode and we need the point on the middle side of this reference line. Let's select this point. We need exactly 0 0.5 millimeter. I mean the 0 0.5 not millimeter, uh, 0 0.5 the distance. So let's write it 0 0.5. Here is the 0 0.5. After that we need the reference line and don't forget on 3D snapping. And let's connect one point, the other point, done. And now we need one more point. Let's create the points. Let's select this point. We want to see always the reference plane. So here is the reference plane. Let's set this reference plane. Okay, here is our reference plane. And let's draw the cycle. Let's draw it. Okay, as you can see, this is a wrong set uh, plane. Now, now the same thing. Uh, let's do the one more thing. I will select this one and I will unshow it. Let's try it again. I want to use only this reference and I want to draw the my cycles here. It's not changing. Not changing. This is a strange reference reference point. Let's select it. Okay, now I think all right. Uh, now I will select this uh, profile and I will create the parameter for this profile. We already have this parameter, we will use the radius one. Okay, now I will select this reference line and this profile and I will create the form. Okay, done. And don't forget one of the side of this form, you should lock the profile. Let's save it like the new family. Let's save it because we should change the name, name. and let's call it uh, profile two. Profile two. Let's save it. Okay, done. Now what we're gonna do? Now I will just load inside to the project. Let's load it inside to the project to the tower. Here we are, and let's go back to the uh, our uh, to the our three D because I prefer really working in three D. Here is the our uh, surface. Let's divide it by surface. And let's choose the, the second family profile. Here, is, here it is. And what we're gonna do, we will just change uh, the numbers of that. So the numbers of that here is one. No, here is actually it's 12. And here is one. Let's try it. Yeah, here is the 12, maybe less, maybe it's 10. Yeah, 10 is much better. As you can see, now we get similar result but actually here it's not uh, here we have one two three four five six but we have here eight or uh, ten even let's make it six six it's not looks like nice because we don't have the uh, exactly the numbers but eight it's num then eight it's correct let's leave it eight and the same thing we will do here let's divide it uh here we will say one and here we will say eight and I will choose the my the second pattern. Okay, done. As you can see, we spent not so much the time, but to get the kind of shape. Uh, to continue it, you just should uh, load inside to the project and apply some just uh, curtain wall. That's it. So uh, here is not nothing uh, really hard, but anyway, this is building so interesting, as you already see on the my preview mode. So. Uh, we spent like 20 minutes to get this building. You can do it even faster like in 10 minutes. It's only up to you. I hope it was really useful for you. If you have say, any idea or questions, uh, don't forget leave it in the comments below this video and I will try to answer as soon as possible. But for now this is finished and thank you guys for watching and see you next time.